Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Frank's Handyman. Today we're going to be working here on this garage. What we're going to be doing is putting some insulation and as well putting some drywall here. So it's, it's a pretty straightforward process that we're going to be doing. Right now our teammate here is going to focus on doing the measurements for the drywall that he's going to be setting up. And then our other colleague is going to be putting some of the insulation. Right now what he's doing the marking for is because there's an outlet right there. So he's going to be doing the drawing. That way he is able to make the square where the outlet's going to be going as you're going to see here in a little bit. And as you can see there, that's where the outlet's gonna be going. It didn't fully fit, so he just had to do a little bit of a cut more and then it was fully adjusted. Right now, he's just gonna put some screws on there that's gonna hold it. And then he's gonna be putting them a lot more a little bit later, but right now he's just gonna put enough to where it's able to hold pretty well. Now he's gonna be measuring for the next piece that he's gonna be putting on top, as you're gonna see here in a little bit. We're also gonna disconnect those tubes that you saw, the gray ones, just because they're gonna be on the way. They're pretty easy to remove, just unscrewing what's uh, practically holding them there. Once we take off the screws, they're easy to remove. Right now he's gonna be using the level to make sure that it's a straight line uh, to cut. As you see here, he's gonna be cutting off that little square area. That's what he's, what he's gonna be cutting, just because that whole other piece is gonna be going on top, and then it's also gonna be going on top of the door. The corner from the door area there was a little bit in the way for the drywall so he had to make a little adjustment by cutting it a little bit and then once he did that adjustment it fit perfectly on and then he's going to be uh, just putting everything as far as all the, um, all the screws on it that way again it's able to hold. And now that he put some screws and it's able to hold, our colleague here is going to put some of the drywall. This is pretty easy to do. All you really have to do is just, uh, depending if you have to cut it, then you just have to cut it with the blade. And then with the staple gun, you're going to just uh, put some staples on there that's able to hold onto the wood, as you see here right now. At this point, you guys can see a good chunk of it's almost done. All he has to do right now is also finishing up putting some of the uh, insulation right there. And then he's also going to be putting some drywall on that side as well. He's just going to be doing the cuts for that section right now. While he's making these cuts, our other colleagues just doing all the smaller cuts there that are going to be going for the uh, insulation area, as you're going to see here right now. And again, like I mentioned, for all the smaller pieces, you just have to cut it down with the blade. For the bigger sections, you're able to put a whole piece on there. Um, and then, like I said, it's pretty easy just to staple everything on there. And once you finish putting all the insulation, now they're able to put this other piece of drywall here. He's just holding it, that, that way it doesn't tilt. And right now, then he's going to be putting as well some of the screws there that's going to hold it.
moving on again to do the measurements and then doing all the markings here on both sides of the drywall. And then once he has both sides, then again, he's gonna use the level to draw that straight line. And he's gonna cut this piece as well. And this is the one that's gonna be going on top where the uh, insulation section is. You guys can see here, it's only left to do that top section here on top after he's putting some of these uh, screws on there. So he's gonna be doing the measurements for the top one, and then he's gonna carry it over to the drywall that's on the floor, and then he's gonna be doing those cuts as well. And with this red string, he's gonna carry it over all the way across and then clip it onto this other side. And once he does that, he just has to snap it. So he practically just lifts it and drops it. And then this string will leave a red marking, uh, leaving a whole straight line. And then he's just gonna be able to cut it down with the blade. Once it gets done putting it up here and then putting all the screws on it, as you're gonna see here in a little bit on how it comes out looking, then eventually we're gonna have to wait for somebody to come and then put all the texture, all the mud. That way, later on, we're able to paint the whole wall. So stay tuned for that, uh, for us to, to get to that process of painting the wall. It's gonna be looking out pretty cool at the end of the day. So I hope to see you guys until then, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.